Tell me everyone, are you afraid of spiders? You cannot hide. Abaddon's malevolence sees with eight all-knowing eyes. The MonsterVerse continues to grow as we have a new titan entering the fray. The diabolical, menacing Titanus Abaddon. The name alone being derived from Hebrew, meaning destruction or doom. For the rest of time, there will probably be people that will always be on edge and nervous when one of our eight-legged friends creepily scurries into our sightline. But when you scale a spider up millions of times, to the size of Godzilla and Kong, does it lose its creepy crawly effect? Or is it amplified? Abaddon won't be crawling down your throat when you sleep. But the monster has a much more villainous plan for mankind. To use all the arachnids of Earth as sleeper agents. Until one day, the beast decided to unleash them all. In this video, we're gonna go over Titanus Abaddon's official bio. Along with her offspring, the Weavers. And then we're gonna inspect Abaddon's strengths, weaknesses, and purpose in the Monsterverse. Until at the end, we place her in the category of Titan that fits her best. Residents, like this video if you crave more Titans in the Monsterverse. This is Jacob, and let's get to it. Abaddon very clearly resembles a spider, something like a Black Widow. But with one major difference. The human skull-shaped adaptation that the beast likely evolved over millennia of tormenting humans. Evolving it as a sort of message, the same we see moths and other insects use in the real world. I'll go ahead and read the official Monsterverse Abaddon bio right now. On a monarch archaeology expedition into the caverns beneath the Nazca Desert in southern Peru, an ancient Incan inscription was found. The words warned of the arachnid creature immortalized in the Nazca lines, carved into the surface above. An ancient pictogram that had mystified historians for centuries. Abaddon can hide beneath the surface, motionless for years or even centuries, remaining completely undetected. Deep earth scanning of the vile vortices revealed a titan spider den, with an elephant skeleton partially cocooned on a gigantic spider web, acting as both a prey snare and a warning to rivals not to proceed further. And also, so everyone knows, she is classified officially as a destroyer titan. But what could her purpose and role in the monsterverse truly be? From what we have right now, it's all uncertain. But it could be argued that the spider's sole mission is to torment the non-titan creatures of Earth, and to consume them. This is evidence in the fact that Abaddon evolved to almost certainly terrify humans. With its army of spiders called the Weavers. These are the spawn of Abaddon itself. Let's read the bios for the Weavers now. While not as imposing in size, the Plague Weavers are still larger and more dangerous than any other arachnid species known to mankind. Birthed from the internal egg sacs inside Abaddon's womb caverns. On reaching maturity, they emerge through the skull-shaped eye sockets, positioned above the titan's head, creating the nightmarish image of Abaddon weeping its children into the world. Not only does this thing look like a human skull, when it has its babies, it comes out looking like it's crying. That's pretty intense. Just imagine that if it was real. Considered the most formidable soldiers in Abaddon's army, the Plague Weavers exhibit swift and flawless responsiveness to its commands. Monarch is presently investigating their communication methods in the hope of developing a technology that could functionally be indistinguishable from telepathy. With this army and the ability to control all of Earth's spiders in some sense, world domination could be the goal of this titan if it was not kept in line. But to take over the world, you need power. In the game, Abaddon is shown to aggressively attack its victims with its devastating pointed legs and its mighty jaws. You wouldn't want to take a bite from those fangs. At times, we see that Abaddon is able to puncture through entire buildings with her arms and crunch down through rooftops with her jaws. On top of the physical power, it also has the ability to spray webbing out in ways that would make Spider-Man proud. And in Monsters Declassified, it was implied that she could take over the corpses of humans and other life forms creating zombies of sorts. However, Abaddon doesn't appear to be much of a fighter, with Kong running it off in only a few moments. Any opponent large enough to be a challenge, and it seems that Abaddon is smart enough to get out before things get deadly. And we have to take into account that taking care of all those offspring must be quite the distraction. We've seen how that affected the Mutos. So where does Abaddon rank in the Titan hierarchy? On the fear factor, Abaddon ranks very high. 
At first glance, many humans would likely select her as the most unsettling titan that they would want to avoid at all costs. Its ability to reproduce its own army of weavers is a horrifying concept to us smaller creatures on the surface world, and ultimately, none of us want to slowly be drained of our bodily fluids as we hang in a web entrapment. And reanimating corpses will always be nightmare fuel. However, when it comes to the other titans, Abaddon, as far as we have learned, is unable to reanimate their corpses, and really do much of any damage to them at all. We've seen Kong chase Abaddon off in seconds, which we can assume what Godzilla would do with the beast. Where is Godzilla, by the way, here? Let me know if you want a video on why Godzilla didn't show up during the events of Kong Survival Instinct. So for that, Abaddon is not in the upper tiers of Titan, I don't think. Instead, I place the monster in a similar rank to the Ion Dragon and Shinomira, presenting massive danger to humans and other life on the surface, but not much more than a nuisance to the other Titans of the Monsterverse. Thank you for watching the video everyone, if you liked it and want more like it, you know what to do, do all that YouTube stuff, subscribe, like the video, share it around, leave me a comment down below. It's always nice to get new titans in the monsterverse and I hope that we continue to see more, I just wish there was more with uh, Abaddon here. But anyway guys, I guess it's something. As always, I'll see you in the next one.